A special tribute to 150 pupils from the same school in Cumbria who went to fight in the First World War. Sadly, 29 of them never came home. But children at the school today are determined that their stories and their sacrifice are always remembered. They are very carefully using the latest technology to restore photos the soldiers sent to their old school 100 years ago. Paul Crone has this report. They're the students using the future to bring the past back to life. Over 150 old photographs of men who were pupils at Victoria High School in Alberston and served during the First World War are being carefully restored using the latest computer software. A faded photograph has become something much more personal. This is Lance Corporal A.R. Jackson and he's in the 3rd Seaforth Highland Regiment. We don't really have that much detail about him, but we know that he did survive the war. This is Corporal W.J. Wignall from the Royal Air Force. All we know that was he survived. And I can tell that this black bit is probably water damage because that was probably the original colour at the top. And so far, this is what I've done to it. I've pushed some of this black down. And then after this, I could probably take some of that black and brighten up this cap as well. This is Private Pothelswaite and he was a guard in the prisoner of war camp in Egypt. And that's quite interesting because the war wasn't just fought in Germany and in France, but also in other countries. The school has a photo of every single former student who served in the Great War in a unique gallery in the school. And it's all thanks to an ex-pupil. Their colleagues uh, in the old Scholars' Union, as it was called then, um, decided to uh, raise some money for Christmas parcels. And they sent out Christmas parcels to these people in the trenches or on the ships, wherever they were. And they also sent out a request saying, please send a photograph of yourself back to, uh, back to us so that we can display it in the school. Now, as all the old photos are being lovingly and carefully restored, the school is also asking anyone who lives in the Olverston and surrounding area to get in touch if they think a family member attended the school and served and fought during World War I. It's hoped all the photographs will be restored by Remembrance Day this year. Paul Crone, ITV News, Olverston. Yeah, what a great project mm. that is. What a good idea.